Hey, what's up? So today I'm working on a character that I kind of unintentionally created. <laughs> um, and I used three pictures for inspiration. The first one I used for the pose and the second one for the colors. I also wanted to use that same pattern for the dress. I found this dress to be so cute and it just stood out to me so much that I was like, all right, I have to draw this. And the third pick was mainly just for style inspiration. It was something that I just randomly drew at 4 a.m. Um, no sleep. But this character wasn't, wasn't supposed to become an OC. But she gave me those main character vibes. And that basically just meaning she didn't seem like she'd be like a background character or just someone that's just there that you don't really see too often. Getting into more of the specifics about her, um, I think the name for her is, I'm gonna call her Deja. It's spelled like D-E-S-H-A, just because she kind of looks like a Deja to me. And also, um, regarding the last character that I created, I will announce her name from um, all the name suggestions that you guys gave me. And I will announce that in probably my next video. So going back to Deja, so she's around the same age as my first OC, which is between the ages of like 17 to 20. I haven't quite decided. And I want them to basically be in the same friend group or in the same class. So I'm trying to make characters that I can have and draw interacting and like hanging out together and stuff like that, just because I think it would be really fun and kind of wholesome. Also, being able to storytell and experiment with that and everything that goes with it sounds really interesting to me. For Daisha's backstory, she lives with her mom, who she's very close with, and they live close to the school with a pet named Daisy, which is a cat, a pet cat named Daisy, and a rabbit named Cleo. As for Daisha's personality, She's very polite, very sweet, smart, loves animals. She's ambitious and not very athletic and I'd say almost clumsy at sports. And the reason why I kind of chose this like sweet personality is partially because the pose and then like the flower dress and everything that I end up doing, it gives me this really sweet and like kind-hearted vibe. So. I just thought that would like go with her personality if it was like really sweet and kind, endearing, things like that. So that's what I went with. As for Deja's traits, she's an animal lover, she's honest, she's tactful, meaning like she can explain things without hurting others' feelings. And she's kind, family oriented, and yeah. So those are her traits. As for her likes and dislikes, starting with the likes, she likes school, she likes being right, um, she's good at being optimistic, so she likes being optimistic, she likes flowers, summer, and languages. Now, I kind of, <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna do this, but I might have her say a few things, if I made like a I don't know, like a character sheet and like little speech bubbles and have my character say things. Um, I might have her say some different things in different languages or something like that, or maybe French or something. I don't know. I only know like a little bit of um, French from high school. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. I could pull up my old binder or something and like try to relearn some things, but yeah, she likes languages, and I thought that would be kind of an interesting um, layer to add to her character. As for her dislikes, I'm pretty sure anybody wouldn't like this, but yelling, arguments, not getting enough sleep, and then she doesn't like candy. Um, she does like desserts, but doesn't like candy. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I came up with. And that's pretty much her 
profile on what she likes, dislikes, her personality, backstory, and all that stuff. I feel like it fits pretty well. Oh, also something that I wanted to mention, I know we're past it, but for the sketching in this video, so I've created and I'm currently testing some sketch brushes and I used two of them in this video. So far, just from drawing with them, I'd say they're pretty solid and I really like them. In the future, um, I can make some brushes and share these brushes with you guys and give you direct links to them since I've been getting a lot of questions about brushes and the brushes that I use. And honestly, I've been wanting to have my own brushes anyways for the longest time, like for the last few years. They just take a while to make and coupled with a whole lot of testing and researching. So yeah, they, they were definitely a big learning curve, um, but I'm still learning and I think it'll be cool. I'd probably make some free ones as well, not just like ones like to pay for or something like that, but yeah. Hopefully that's something I can offer in the near future as a resource. Wow, I've talked for so long, we're already in the coloring part of the video. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. For the color scheme and everything, I was just kind of thinking like a green and yellow. Again, based off the dress. But I wanted her eyes to be kind of like a hazel hazily color or some kind of like yellowish, orangish color. I don't know what it is about me with yellow eyes lately, but they look so pretty <laughs> and uh yeah i i'm currently in the video just blending things out and adding in all the shading and basically bringing her face to life and yeah but now i kind of want to get into the future like future characters and the first thing i'm thinking about is how many characters will i be making so I'm not too sure yet, but more than likely I'm going to make a small group of characters initially and then after that possibly another group depending on how I feel about the first group and just how it turns out and just if I like the process of it. And I may also draw guys too, which I usually don't do, but I may add a couple in there just for some dynamics and more dynamic relationships and nuances and things like that and honestly that sounds really challenging but also intriguing <laughs> and technically i will also make some lone characters that you know may not interact with the other ones they may they may not but yeah and then as i say all of this it's like as I say all this, again, I'm hoping I like the process of the storytelling and the dynamic drawings I'll end up trying. And just dynamic drawings and poses and things like that in itself, it's already really difficult. <laughs> but it's definitely going to push me and my skill level. But I mean, how else are you going to get better unless you, you know, practice and try? So... Yeah, but that's pretty much what I'm thinking about for future characters, and yeah, hopefully that can come a lot sooner than later, but that just means I have to keep practicing and stay on top of my drawing and studying. Which, these YouTube videos kind of help me stay consistent and help me improve as well, and really the reasoning that it helps me stay consistent is because i feel like i have a responsibility i feel like i have kind of like an obligation because i have people that are liking my videos and you know waiting for the next one then i feel like i don't want to let anybody down so that really helps me stay consistent but obviously things happen so Honestly, at this point in the video, I don't really have much I want to say or add, so 
for the next two minutes, I'm just gonna let the music play out. So this is how Deja turned out. She's definitely one of my favorites that I've created. And with that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.